welcome to our newest video. Today's video is all about why we love our barn, what made us choose our barn, and how you can choose a barn that you love too. My channel always Gabby. Check out my channel, Sophie's Life. Sophie's Life. Um, shameless plugs. Okay, so today we are doing a video, another video for you guys, all about our barn. Um, we have had a lot of discussions on our channel about our barn. Is it good? Is it bad? How does it compare to your barn? Um, and we're gonna answer all those questions and explain why we love our barn so much. The fourth reason that we love our barn so much is because it is so close to us. How close is it? <coughs> like five minutes? Yeah, it's literally down the road and around the corner. It, we can be there in a flash. Anytime there's a problem with our horse, we can be there. Anytime we have a short amount of time to ride and we really wanna ride, we can be there. Be this, there during the day. We can be there during the day. We can be there at night. We can be there in five Morning. minutes, yeah. So basically, being able to be there at the drop of a hat has really um, benefited us because we get an awesome opportunity to work our horses. If you guys um, saw the video that the three of us made recently about seven things that we didn't know about horses before we got them, then you'll know that it was a shock to us that we actually have to work out our horses and keep them in shape. And being really close to the barn helps us to spend a lot of time there so we can keep our horses in shape, yeah. right? Right, are you guys agreed? We all agree. We live close to our barn and that is the fourth reason why we love it. Number three. Yay. Number three reason we love our barn is that it's really pretty. Um, it's super clean. All the buildings are brand new. Um, they have rules there that if your horse poops on the way to the barn or on the way back from the barn, you have to clean it up. Hands down, no questions asked, it has to be done. Like, you don't get any chances. You just have to clean it up. It's your responsibility. So the walk to the horses is really nice and it's a wooded walk. It's really pretty. And when I asked the girls before we made this video, what's your favorite thing of like, why do you love our barn? The first, one of the first things they said was, it's nice there. The walk from the arena down to the barn where the horses are stored takes us about 10 minutes each way and it's a beautiful, amazing walk in nature. We love it. The girls like to ride it sometimes as a trail, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it is so super nice. Sometimes Sabrina wants to trot down the trail. They always love going back down the trail because they know it's to the barn where they get their supper. But yes. yeah, it, the, the arena is really pretty. It's it's just a really a pretty country environment. And another thing that we really like about where it's located is that you, it can't even be seen from the street. It's this big, beautiful farm all tucked inside the- By trees. All tucked and hidden in by trees. Yeah. Tucked into this big circle <laughs> that you wouldn't even know was there. And we love our, we love that. Yeah. It's just a really nice place to go. Number oh. two. Uh, three, three uh, two, one. Number two. two, the second reason, the second biggest reason that we love our barn is the atmosphere. It is amazing at our barn. We've tried so many barns in the past, none of them had this kind of an atmosphere. Basically, everybody is kind at our barn. People have left money sitting on the table for fundraising events for days and days and days and nobody would ever even think to take it. People don't take other people's property from their lockers and we've heard, I've heard from people before unless, that at their barn that happens. Unless they give you permission. Yeah. Unless they like ask you like, or you ask them like, hey, um, I did this once. Hey Kaylee, could I borrow your whip please? Like her really whip jelly whip which is so fun to squeeze and she said yeah sure just make sure to put it back yeah and that's another point our barn shares everybody shares everything um nobody there's so little rivalry at our barn i've never even seen any rivalry everybody works together everybody is all for the benefit of the horses what do you have to say about our um the atmosphere of our barn and the girls there mm, I don't know. our barn um has a 
a bunch Tons of kids. Our barn is all about kids. Our barn is a kid barn. All the kids have horses and they all ride and they all get together. And there are kids that are older and there are kids that are younger. And the kids that are older are so kind and so helpful to the little kids. It's just overwhelming. You're right. Sophie's blowing them all a kiss. No. Maybe she's blowing you all a kiss. I don't know. But she just needed to take that minute to give everybody a kiss. Which is why I love Sophia. And that's why she fits in our barn so good. Because she's such a love. No, I was giving Toby a kiss. Oh, she's giving, <laughs> giving Toby's Toby a over kiss. There. Toby's over there watching us across from the camera. Like right across. Um... They, um, at our Christmas party, I heard the term, our barn family, um, tossed around a lot. And since then, it has really become our barn family. I trust Absolutely. every single parent at our barn with the safety um, and the well-being of our children. I trust every single one of them. They are all amazing. The atmosphere at our barn is bar none. I have not ever met another barn that has had the same kind of atmosphere. Number one, the biggest reason that we love our barn, and you guys might be shocked by this, some of you might be shocked by this, is I asked the girls, I said, okay, tell me the number one reason you love our barn. And what did you say? It teaches you a lot. What did you say? Okay. They both said, our instructor our instructor it doesn't matter if the barn was the ugliest barn you could ever be to if it was all dirt everywhere if it was if it was it doesn't matter where our barn was as long as our instructor was there we would be happy there um why did you say that what did you notice about our instructor compared to our old barn um our old barn the instructors like would hold you back a lot too because they didn't want you falling. Yeah, and they didn't let you tack up. Yeah. Yeah, so um, when I was talking about this with them saying, you know, give me some ideas about why you love our barn. Gabby said, because she lets us fall. And at our old barn, which was an amazing barn, they didn't let us fall. They didn't let them fall. They made, they took it so slow and made sure that they learned everything and, and were completely ready before they moved on. Our instructor is so kind and so loving and so supportive. She is like the mom to all of us. Even to the women who are older than her, she is like the mom to all of us. She, we, there are a lot of new horse owners at her barn. And like I said, a lot of her, um, a lot of the people at her barn are kids with the horses. Um, we all message her all hours of the day and she always answers us. We don't buy anything without her input. So if it's a Saturday morning at eight o'clock and I'm at the store, <laughs> then I message her. Tax store. And she lets me know what to buy. And she... Tax store, not grocery shopping. Yeah, yeah tax store. If I'm at the grocery store at 8 o'clock on Saturday morning and I say, hey, should I get regular milk or skim milk? I think she probably would be mad. <laughs> Basically, if I have a horse question, she's there every single step of the way. I feel like we would never have gotten a horse without her. We never, ever would have gotten a horse. She has supported us so, so, so much, encouraged us, helped us. Our first introduction to this barn was when a friend of ours asked Gabby, hey, you want to go to horse camp with me on March break? And she was like, of course I do. So she went to this new barn and we were not even considering changing barns because we loved our barn. And within a day. First the, day I said, we're changing barns. The first day she's like, I'm not going back to my barn. And um, we struggled with that decision for a long, long time thinking about it because there were some differences, things that we weren't sure if it was a good change or a bad change, and it took us a while. And it was we're good. And we're gonna make a video about the things, the four things that we don't like about our barn, so that you guys can have an idea of what the challenges were for us. But, um, but the minute they stepped in there, they were in love. Gabby had a, had a fall the very first week. That first week on March break, right? Did you have a fall? No. No. Um, it was when I started taking lessons here. And I learned to cage a jumps, and I think it was the third horse camp. Or well, it was an entirely different experience. The atmosphere, our, instru our instructor 
sets the bar for atmosphere. She sets the tone. This is what she expects. This is how she acts and everybody just follows suit. Kind of like if one person is mean, everybody else follows along and acts mean too. Well, our instructor does the absolute opposite of that. She is waving her hand behind my head. That makes tone. <laughs> oh, okay, what? And I love how they stop the horses by breathing out. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. that's how we stop our horses. We do a, a we breathe, breathe out. out. Right. I go. We exaggerate that relaxed thing that you do when you're sitting on a horse. We love our barn so much because it is a good fit for us. It's a good fit for all of us. And I'm going to tell you a couple of ways that you could be happy at the barn that you choose to ride at too. Um, I asked our instructor, like, if you were going to give somebody advice about how to find a horse barn, what would you do? Because when we first started riding, all we did was look in the phone book and find a barn and go there. Actually, that's not how we did it. Um, when we first started riding, we just went to the barn. We just found a barn and went there. We didn't interview them. Like look online. Yeah, we didn't We didn't do it. We didn't know what to do. We just chose a barn and went there. And whatever kind of teaching they did, that's the kind of teaching that we learned. And um, our instructor said that what she does is she encourages kids that have an interest in riding or have an interest in riding at her barn to come and do a couple of uh, lessons. So she will give them a few lessons and she tells them not to commit to her until they see if it's something that, that they want to do. Um, whether it's being at her barn or having her as a teacher. Um, things that we have learned in the past is that, yeah, that is a great practice to go there and see if it's a good fit for you. But go to more than one barn. Go to a few barns. Take practice lessons at a few barns so that you can find the one that fits your your morals and, and the one that makes you feel the most comfortable. Some of you guys still might find it hard to believe that we love our barn so much. Um, and that might be because your barn is completely different and you love your barn so much. So I want to just say to you, um, everybody learns differently, just like in school. Everybody has a different learning style and there are so many different teachers out there. You have to find the one that teaches the way that you learn. And our instructor teaches the way that we learn. She is a good fit for us. So if you're at a barn and you love it there and you're happy and your barn teaches totally different than our barn, then that's amazing that your barn is working for you. And that's what's important. Um, not how pretty it is, not how much money it costs, What's important is that you're learning and that you're enjoying learning and that you're safe and that you feel good there. Those are the reasons that we love our barn and I challenge you if you are unhappy with the way you're being taught or you don't feel comfortable at your barn to go exploring and find someplace else to go and don't stop looking until you find exactly where you belong. Good luck to you guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Bye. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.